Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new Star Stable video. Today, we are going to talk about all of the upcoming horses. Now, there are actually like a lot, a lot of upcoming horses. So we are going to start with the ones that are being released first and then going all the way to the ones that are being released like six months from now. So that is how this video is going to work. So keep that in mind, the timeline is set up. But yes, without any further ado, let's get into it then. Let me know which of these horses you are most excited for in the comments down below. Also, make sure you turn notifications on because there are four more March codes that have not been released yet, and I will be posting those free Star Queen codes or item codes whenever Star Stable does post them and all players can use them. So yes, let's get into the video then. Let's go because there are so many upcoming horses. I'm so excited for all of these, especially if you are a new player or have not bought any horses from the Equestrian Festival before. There are a lot of super cute limited edition returning horses so now is the time to save up your star coins for sure I wonder when I get evicted or if you meant to leave your blender in my kitchen I know it's probably not too healthy like jump alley and it's overwhelming Whoa. so call me stupid call me crazy For the Equestrian Festival, each year in Star Stable, there are a ton of returning exclusive horses, meaning that all of these are only available for purchase when the Equestrian Festival is in game. These include two English thoroughbreds. One is kind of like Haintish and one is Flea Bitten. Honestly, if you're not a fan of the English thoroughbred model, but you still want a few, I really recommend these. Flea Bitten is gorgeous. Like, wait until you see it in game, but they just have amazing coat colors for this model. They have a bunch skin and illusion returning to arabians i do really like i don't know what the arabian is called that's kind of like dark and also white let me know what that coat color is called because that one is one of my favorites and then we also have a chestnut arabian two lusitano horses which are classics of the equestrian festival here since the very beginning we have the flea bitten lusitano the other lusitano is so cute it has a little heart on its face which you will see next okay don't don't mind the old Lipa's honors, those are actually not returning, but those are all of the returning Equestrian Festival horses. These, again, are exclusive to the Equestrian Festival and are returning next week. So if you don't have these, definitely save up for them, have them on your wish list, and prepare because we have less than a week now before these will be added to the game. Or Star Sable sometimes does a dispersed update. So like one time, the first update will be the Equestrian Festival's out, the second update is the the horses are out so we'll have to see how things work like that but those are all of the original returning horses to the equestrian festival to wear that halo so sweet it's painful so would you put me on your payroll girl i know it's probably not too healthy you got me over here obsessing whoa friends call me stupid call me crazy well so long to sanity Okay, so in terms of new horses, this is going to be a little bit of a different setup, but CC Creations has posted one of the horses, which is a brand new Generation 3 Lipizzaner horse in an Equestrian Festival video, so I'm guessing this is the limited edition release this year. I don't know, there might be some, you know, changes made because last year we did not get a limited edition horse. It was purely the Lipizzaners being added to the game permanently, but I'm just going to mention this here because there is a high chance that this is going to be the limited exclusive equestrian festival edition that is going to be released alongside the rest of the horses since maybe star stable is going to add more exclusive limited edition horses but that is just another upcoming horse that you want to be on the lookout for and since it is alone and just one of the horses there is a very high possibility that this one is going to be exclusive to the festival itself so that means you will only be able to purchase it as long as the festival is in game so if you are thinking of getting this lip is honor definitely save up i know the texture isn't in game yet but if you are someone that just loves the lip is honor model then definitely take this into consideration before looking at the other horses a bit dramatic my brain is in the panic i'm going manic okay Okay. 
Okay, so these horses are probably going to release, also be released on the timeline of kind of near the equestrian festival. Not during the festival itself, then definitely just like less than a month after. These horses, I'm guessing, are a quote unquote batch release of permanent new recolors being added to the game. Now, the reason why I think these horses are permanent additions is because Star Stable usually does not release like 10 horses per an unlimited edition festival, you know? Like, besties, barely anyone would be able to access them or save up for all the those horses if they did release all of these horses at once and all of them are limited like imagine at winter festival we have 10 new horses girl that's they're missing out you know they're missing out because they made 10 horses but not all the players will be able to afford them since they aren't permanent and not all the players that want them necessarily can get them because they aren't permanent so in terms of this quote unquote permanent release we have two new dutch warm blood two new lipids honor horses one self france horse one extra dutch warm blood one mustang okay they really chose the best models for this i'm just gonna say and one brand new arden horse so overall that's one two three five six seven eight brand new horses being added okay i'm very very excited to see them in the game and as you can see they are also sold at the where the horse breeds usually normally are sold at so that is also another kind of hint that these recolors are going to be permanent instead of just released alongside the festival maybe these ones that are not sold at their places you know like the self rent say horse in the dressage arena and stuff i don't know i feel like it's just for aesthetic but there is a chance those might be limited but again star stable would not release all of these horses all at once and be like oh girlies good luck it's uh, all limited one month left to have fun like these are definitely going to be this kind of like batch release that star stable does last year we had one or two of these where star stable just very popular models of horses in star stable give them some recolors and release them all at once dispersed throughout your bay and they all stay permanently in the game until further notice so those are the next horses we are getting and keep in mind their prices are probably exactly the same as their current models in the game sometimes i'm alone i wish that you live closer breed that is also going to be staying permanently and this one is most likely being released after the equestrian festival are the american saddlebred horses now i'm sure spoilers will come out soon but here's what we have star stable actually posted these pictures 15 weeks ago 15 weeks ago so we are expecting them soon is basically what i'm trying to say and these are the next horse breed that are supposed to be released through these self rinse horses like breed itself not horses being released if that makes sense so in terms of coat color we are of course getting the original seven the new coat color for the american saddlebred is the flax and liver chestnut pinto and in terms of horses that are already in game coat colors are already in game we're getting a sooty bay bay pinto black rose gray dapple that one's gonna be so cute i already know it silver buckskin and also a palomino so again with the recolor releases there is a chance that the, they will add more horses change up the coat colors so if you are not a fan i would definitely just stay tuned and wait to see what star stable does in terms of more coat color but those are all of the original seven coat colors that will be released when the horse itself is released here's what star stable said in a description they said star stable online we asked for your expectations of the american saddlebred a few weeks ago now together with your feedback and our research we have come to some conclusions first of all you want a natural confirmation for the american saddlebred this is an elegant horse with its head held high big bright curious eyes and small curved ears the coat colors will be what you see above remember these examples are from in-game horses plus one color will be completely new the saddlebred can have any color and we want to have fun with this while adding still following your coat color wishes art is a living process and sometimes things change along the way therefore we cannot guarantee that all seven coats will make it in the end but we will do our best to keep you posted any coat color you are extra excited for and i mean from what we've seen when star stable makes these posts in the past 
have all of the coat colors make it to the end so I would not be too worried about that. Then they go on to say and kind of talk about the special animations of which this horse breed will be getting. Chicken Saddlebred is popular in many equestrian sports for its elegance and intelligence. We'll be riding on a graceful horse with naturally high steps and carriage. The breed has some gated representation. So for now, our American Saddlebred, you will be able to perform the slow gait. There was a close tie between Western Pleasure and Saddle Seat regarding riding style. After our research, we decided to aim for Western Pleasure. The horse will still have its unique movement to reflect its elegance and breed distinction. While we understand Saddle Seat was desired by some, we ultimately did not feel safe to represent in Jorvik. There are definitely ways to practice this equestrian sport with the best intention for the horse. However, we do not want to unintentionally depict any harmful practices. Thus, we will not have saddle seat riding for this breed. We understand this could be disappointing for you, but we hope you understand our stance on this. The American Saddlebred will set its hooves on Jorvik before summer 2024. Girl, oh my gosh. Wait, I need to look up the date when summer 2024 is. I know it's in June. Well, it depends on your hemisphere, but it goes from June 20th to... It, oh, it's, it's June 20th. So... You know, we might be getting that horse sooner than later, but there is still a chance that might be released after the Equestrian Festival in terms of, you know, the timeline of horse releases, but that is super exciting. That means we'd have to be getting the Frisian in summer as well, and then we are still waiting to know what is coming next, but more on the Frisian soon. So, yes, that is everything we currently know about the American Saddle Saddlebred, not Saddle Seat Horse, American Saddlebred, and they are going to be focusing on Western Pleasure for it. Let me know if you are excited for this horse in the comments down below. I know I am. But we will have to see more spoilers on that very soon because it's before summer 2024, so we know that this horse is being released pretty soon, like sooner than I thought, honestly. I keep telling myself I don't need help, but here I go. We're getting two magical horses for winter, two magical horses for Halloween, but that goes without saying. The next horse that we know to this date, because you know, we haven't had spoilers on those yet, so it's too far ahead, is the Frisian horse. Now, this is actually going to be a separate horse breed from the Yorvik Frisian. I feel like Star Stable wanted to remake the Frisian since it is such a popular horse in Star Stable. You know, the Yorvik Frisian's a little, you know, we could go see the Yorvik Frisian and I could show you guys what we're talking about here. But basically, with the Gen 3 horses, since the beginning of Gen, Gen 3, if you take a look at the beginning of Gen 3 horses and the end, you know, the self a horses right here, there is a huge difference. So I feel like Star Stable wants to remake this horse in a way where players can still have the Eurovic Frisian, you know, play with it if they do like the Eurovic Frisian, but remake it since it is such a popular horse and I know, like, so many people will buy it. The, the Eurovic Frisian is definitely, you could tell, more near the beginning of Gen 3. This horse was released back in 2020 and this is what the horses look like. They have especially, like, just compare these two horses. The gates, the manes, these have chunky manes, which literally the mane is separated into three strands. Like, I don't know, girl, but they are going to be remaking these, and my guess is that these are going to be released before the end of summer 2024. This is just with Star Stable's releasing horse pattern. It is most likely that these horses will be released then, but of course, after the American Saddlebred horse gets into the game. And remember, that post of the American Saddlebred horses were released 15 weeks ago. The coat colors I just showed you, yes, bestie, 15 weeks ago. So, from from the time the coat colors are posted for the Frisian, there's a chance that it might take 15 weeks before we see the Frisian in the game. Just based on like, you know, how Star Stable has been releasing horses in the past, when they've made the posts in the past, we haven't even known the coat colors that we will be getting for the Frisians yet. So we will have to wait and see, but I'm very excited for these horses in game, especially the Frisian. Like, I can't wait to see what they do with a remake of the Frisian. I was not expecting that, definitely, but I think Star Stable is making a pretty smart move here because it is such a well-known, it's like a classic of Star Stable. And the Gen 1 Frisians are being phased out of the game. No, oh, I was about to say Gen 2, but no, they are Gen 1 horses. And those are being deleted next Wednesday, 
updates, but yes, the next horse breed are the updated Frisians. A while away from now, but still have on the back of your minds when trying to save up Star Coins, but girl, you could save up like two months from now and still have enough, so I would not be too worried about it, especially with all the extra codes we've been getting, and yeah, I hope this was helpful. Bye, everyone! Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope this was helpful, especially when planning which horses to buy in the future, saving up Star Coins, because we are getting so many, especially for the equestrian festival, then a small release of horses, then the American Saddlebred horses, the next Frisian horses. There are a lot of horses being released, but as always, I hope this helped you and have a great day. I really do appreciate you watching this video. Stay tuned because in March, there are four more codes that you do not want to miss out on. So make sure you have notifications on for that so you do not miss free Star Coin codes that all players can use. Bye-bye.